Flat Earth, yes or no? Have a look at this. The summit there, where I just zoomed in. And I kept watching it and taking a few photographs, and I wasn't really sure what I was looking at. Uh, but over the course of a, f a few minutes, not, not really that long, it became apparent that it was a ship, and the ship was a long way out. A lot further than any other ship that I could see around at that time. Uh, so I just kept an eye on it. So over the course of maybe, I don't know, maybe half an hour, maybe less, 20 minutes, I, kept, I just kept taking photographs and little bits of video just to see uh, how it would turn out. And what you're seeing here is uh, some still images and then I'll every now and then I'll crop in like that and, and zoom in so you get a, a slightly better picture of what you're looking at. It's not the most enthralling video in the world, but it's quite informative because there's something below the horizon there. You can clearly see it. It looks a bit like a building, but it's the superstructure of a ship. You can't see the actual body of the ship that's floating in the water or the hull. Yeah, that's the correct uh, pronunciation, isn't it? Hull. But you can just see it popping over the top of the horizon right there. Uh, and that's a later picture. You can now see the front of the ship. That's the bow. I'm quite a seafarer, really. Uh, more superstructure visible. And again, that's just a... A little bit there and next is some it's 4k video but and i really wish i'd had my tripod and this is quite a bit later uh, and you can see the the whole other ship now panning around so you can see other ships around there so that's what's visible i'm panning to the right there's a really big one somewhere there that, that had been passed quite some time before and that's where I was filming from where that bus is about where that bloke with the fluorescent jacket is right, I'm lower down now and there's a clear difference in there that was audio from the actual film oh, me saying that I'm lower down I'm, I'm talking over myself now uh, because there's I'm talking to the camera as I'm filming it. But you can see there's quite a difference now because I've moved lower uh, and there's less of the ship visible than there was in the previous bit of film before I showed you the bus. And there you can see I've zoomed out so you can definitely see that I'm sitting there. And this is just a bit of, uh, just a bit of extra film. Uh, and I've done it in slow motion. This bit's not in 4K, the other bit's in 4K. Uh, this is just high definition. But it's a lot smoother in slow motion. I actually filmed it in slow motion. It's not that I've rendered it in slow motion, by the way. Anyway, I hope that's been informative. I think that... Uh, I can clearly see that at least the bit where I'm living or the bit that I was filming, that, that bit of earth is not flat. That ship came from below the horizon towards the camera, towards the viewpoint, and more and more of it was visible. The only explanation I can come up with is uh, that we do live on a globe, pretty much like we were taught. That doesn't mean I believe everything I'm told, by the way. I most certainly don't. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll just let it run a little bit more.